consciously think about that heart which is beating inside of you. I will be talking about the energy which gets our heart, you know, pulsating in the first place. Where does our SA node and how does actually, you know, it get its first electrical impulse so strong that once our heart start beating, it continues until the very last day. I'm definitely not here to preach, but to share some very beautiful knowledge that I have been fortunate enough to acquire over time. I believe that our soul is a small piece of God and our body a medium. We are super consciously connected to the higher power and prayer is a way many of us feel connected. See how I consider things is, everything that we do is God's doing. You see a poor person, you get a very strong feeling of giving him or her food. Have you ever thought that person must have prayed for food and through your body as a medium, God fulfilled his prayers. Let's say you are troubled in your mind. You pray to God to give you a clear sense of thought. And your friend listens to you, understands you, and you feel so much relieved. Let's say you are not a sharing type, okay, you keep inside your mind. And suddenly you get a very strong thought, you know, out of nowhere, which clears all your doubt. Let's say you get separated from someone and you feel very upset, you're alone, you ask God for help, then slowly you will get to realize that maybe you weren't taking care of yourself much and whatever happened, it was for your own good, you know? Everything, everything that happens, you know, it happens for a very beautiful reason. Try noticing the littlest thing, you'll be amazed, you'll be surprised, Christ, you'll be always in all. I cannot stress on this much, but I'm so deadly crazy about this realization, you know. And this is how I feel. So much loved, so much blessings, always guided, protected, you know. Our only work is to keep our soul happy and body healthy so that God can take shelter in our body and continue fulfilling prayers in His most amazing.